To be a citizen legislator means you have a career outside of being a lawmaker. And after the 2010 fall general election, Madison was flooded with them. Freshmen made up over a quarter of the Wisconsin legislature. Doctors, farmers, realtors, business owners, accountants. In fact, the accountants got together and created the CPA caucus. And they weren't about to just take bureaucrats for the word. They began checking the math. You know, and I, I don't think uh, I view our role as, uh, as antagonistic or whatever. I just want to understand, uh, especially where taxpayer money goes. You know, that's, that's the key. Make sure where our government is operating uh, effectively, efficiently. Just yesterday, I was over at the Fiscal Bureau, and I was reading through an informational paper, and Al Rundy happened to stop by, and he, he said to me, boy, it's nice to see that somebody's reading those informational papers. If anything, I've seen some of those people say, you know what, it's good to have somebody asking these questions because it is such a different perspective that it makes me really look at things differently so that I'm doing a better job at what I'm doing. In particular, we're concerned about generally accepted accounting principles. And what that is, is GAAP is the accounting principles that businesses use, local governments use, and we really feel strongly that if you're going to have transparency and integrity in your governance structure, you need to be using GAAP accounting because it matches, um, it doesn't manipulate the timing of cash payments. This session, two of these accountants, Representatives Klinky and Koyenga, are on the Joint Committee on Finance. It's the first time in history there's been an accountant on that committee. In January, the CPA caucus started going over some of the numbers in preparation for work on the state budget. And what they saw in the UW system gave them pause. We looked at the numbers, and when you look at the numbers compared to what is actually um, being communicated as far as like, oh, Governor Walker is crushing UW, Governor Walker and the legislature is crushing the UW system. Um, and the numbers, the underlying facts, just do not match that up. And so we simply raised a red flag and talked to some analysts about, like, isn't there a billion dollars there? And sure enough, they said, yeah, there's a billion dollars there. I was disturbed by, you know, the uh, allegations made uh, during the early in the budget process about the, the impact that the devastating cuts have had on the UW system. Uh, all the while, they, they knew that they had these significant reserves and I'm, I'm just concerned by the uh, how disingenuous that, that is. The CPAs asked the Legislative Fiscal Bureau to get to the bottom of it. The Bureau released their findings last Friday and the University of Wisconsin had a lot of explaining to do about their billion dollars of cash on hand, like why they've continued to raise tuition five and a half percent over the last two years and why they want an extra $30 million in state funding this biennium, which the governor up to $180 million. Is it incompetence or is it uh, intentional? And I don't care. Either excuse is a, is a bad excuse. You know, if it's incompetence, that, that's not a, a good excuse. And, and if it's intentional, uh, that's a bad excuse as well. So I hope that they obviously take it to heart and based on the testimony yesterday, I think they probably will change how they look at that now. And we have to determine, I think, as a legislature, what are we gonna do with the information? I think we're working through that now to figure out um, what impact that's gonna have on the budget that we're looking at. You know, some of it's a gray area as far as they were hiding or not. I just think that the transparency could have been clearer. Um, and I think that if people knew what we knew now, saying in a very tight budget environment, um, let's not only give them what we gave them last year, let's give them $180 million more. I think if that was transparent, then the decision makers would have said, well, you know what, I think that they could live off the cash they have, and let's just give them what we gave them last year. I, <laughs> there may even be a case to give them less than what we gave them last year. I don't believe there's any conspiracy theory. I think it's a matter of the weaknesses in the way they report across the system and that the regions probably aren't providing sufficient oversight or maybe they don't have it. Maybe they need a CPA caucus at the regions to help support the other regions in terms of how they read the financial statements. Yeah, I don't mean to, I'm not going to attack anybody personally. It's, you know, it's, it's out there. It's, it's, in the, it's in the annual financial statements. In this document right here, it tells you that there's a billion dollars over there. You just need to get in the details. And these days, there are four accountants in the legislature doing just that. And they're not just looking at the UW. For the McIver Institute, I'm Bill Osmolsky.